As its readers will know, Glenn is a generous critic, not afraid that enthusiasm will blow his core. But he's not a pushover either. Without coming on as a stalled, let alone assuming some dopey pose of an axe, he's willing to examine not just the limitations of particular books, but of their audiences. He has dared to suggest that a steady diet of wizardry and adolescent vampire romance may, be not, may not be for college students, let alone non nominal adults, bought to be consuming. Just wait till they start serializing novels on Twitter, Ron. <laughs> and you'll really have something to worry about. Of course, we'll have to review them on Twitter. Um, in the meantime, I now have the pleasure of introducing you to this year's winner, the No New Boy Can Citation Prize from Sir Ewing, Ron Charles. Those of us who thought of ourselves as mere newspaper book critics. 
The implication is that helping people find books they might just want to enjoy reading was some kind of low life consumer reports for books. But I think we ignore that role at our peril. I became convinced of this a couple of years ago. I'd, I'd written an essay in the post op ed section about people's reading habits and the tyranny of the bestseller list. And I received more than 300 letters in response. This is a completely new experience for me. After 12 years of weekly reviewing, by the normal number of letters I get ranges between, say, zero and the wife of the president of Liberia asking me to take temporary position of $74 million. <laughs> so, <laughs> 300 letters, many of them are quite thoughtful, made an enormous impression. And they all, they, many of them, many of these letters had one basic question, where they wanted to know, where did they find good suggestions about what to read? <laughs> and I, I thought they were kidding, you know? uh, but there were so many of them. And I thought that's what we were doing. But they were very earnest about it, and they very hard film. A few especially brilliant, lucky critics will continue to be able to muse publicly about the free, indirect style or Talk about Bartholomew's latest release of his high school diary or something like that. But for most of us foot soldiers in the field, we just need to help curious, literate people find books they want to read. It is more than ever not about us. It's about the books and their potential readers. I have almost no liquid left in my <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. I, I am extremely grateful to you.